this is this is where I grew up. This is what it's what means a lot to me. And it means a lot to my family. People are very nice. They're really welcoming you here, no matter where you're from or who you are. Uh, Jacksonville, I love the people. I love the small community. Small, but we all, we all chip in to help each other. My parents didn't want me to go to high school in the big city. So we found Jacksonville. The people here are great. The community's great. I am originally from uh, Monterey, Mexico, and I came here 13 years ago. The community is so awesome. The people have received me. They have welcomed me with open arms. Jacksonville has so much to offer. We have a huge community of people, um, not just in churches, but in work facilities, in workout facilities, in restaurants that have become a family. Welcome to Jacksonville. Oh, you gotta quit that. We're located behind the Pine Curtain, deep in the heart of Texas. Didn't sing it, I wanted to sing it. Dang. Deep in the heart of Texas. <laughs> it's just a melting pot of wonderful people. We have clean water, we have fresh air, and we have a host of great people that have red dirt between their toes. We have beautiful homes and beautiful people in them. That ability to uh, take part in uh, the lakes, the, um, the Cherokee Ranch, the, uh, the ATV Mud Park. I'll tell you what else is cool about people at Jacksonville. You don't have to see people every day. You can see them six months later and pick up just like you left off. That's Jacksonville. The bottom of the Love's Lookout Pool. I, I think this was like the show place for East Texas for years where everybody come. There wasn't that many people that had swimming pools anywhere. Behind us is a home that once was my grandfather's and it means a lot to me. The getting this home improved is important to me and would be valuable to me and my family because it would have give my grandmother a place to live comfortably and not have to worry about inconveniences of home improvements that she's not able to do. This is Nan Travis Clinic. It's been vacant for over 30 years. When I see a building like this in Jacksonville, it breaks my heart. Seeing some of our, our more historic places, especially our historic places, but our neighborhoods are, are, are really suffering and, and uh, need a little help. You're not gonna find a more genuine person that you meet in a grocery store or a shopping center or on the street or at a gas station than you're gonna meet here in Jacksonville, Texas. We need a facelift and, uh, and, and so that's what this is about. From the community standpoint, it's a partnership. Nobody here looks for a handout. way of life that that we have here once you break through the pine curtain and get into Jacksonville life just slows down so as an outdoorsman living in Jacksonville I can be in the woods or on the water in a matter of minutes from where I live and that's a value to me I played in the NFL for a long time and they hey what are you gonna do when you retire and I said man I'm, I plan on going back to, to my hometown and, and being a part of that community and, and investing there, my time and my efforts and investing in those people because they invested in me and made me part of who I am. Since it's so small, I pretty much know everybody's face, everybody knows my face and everybody waves high and everybody's friendly here. This is where my kids love to be, this is where I love to be, and this is where I'm gonna stay. After attending graduate school in Southern California, I came back to Jacksonville. 
I'm a great example of someone who couldn't wait to get back, frankly, and establish my roots again. I think Jacksonville is a very diverse area. It, uh, it has so many things to do here. People around Jacksonville don't judge you. <laughs> there you go. That's the, uh, if I leave this city limits, I get judged a lot. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> the people alone here in Jacksonville are enough of a reason to want to come to Jacksonville. We have schools that care. We have churches that embrace. We have organizations that, that cry for people to come and, and be a part of them. Jacksonville has the heart that it needs. My sister and I joke about not knowing that we were um, poor. It's a little funny joke between us because the community of Jacksonville is so close-knit that you don't see any difference, especially at that. Excuse me. This community has been able to help um, lots of people in different areas to um, love themselves and not have like the prejudice or racism.